Welcome to Talking Pass Management, Heiko Kaiser. Nice to have you here. You're welcome. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> How's Germany? <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, Heiko, could you do me a favor and uh, introduce yourself to the people who don't yet know you? So they call me a hyper Heiko. I'm not because I'm always doing too many things at once, but that's okay. Um, yeah, look, I've got a company in uh, several companies now in New Zealand, which uh, is a pest control operator, like a service company, like a PCO, you call it. Um, and then we also have a product distribution company, so which is uh, selling non-toxic solutions, inclusive NARA, uh, Green Hero, things like this as well, part of our product line. And we, we are supportive also for BSC, as you can see on the oh, yeah. other side here, is insect, insect Lights, which is sort of possible has grown from zero to quite nice. And uh, um, when I met you guys first, I met the French guys first. So since then we are in business, in business. Five and, years um, back, six years back, something. Yeah, uh, oh, no, no, 10, must be 10 now. Uh, um, <laughs> it must be longer. Um, and then we got the other one here, which is D2K, designed to kill. So uh, that's an untoxic, uh, you know, Peko here. I got yeah. a big one in the back. <laughs> so you're so a brand really person really and, and one <laughs> yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. I think uh, everybody knows about you is that you build things very quickly so you're a serial entrepreneur and yeah. you found that uh, the brands help yeah. you to promote the products but you are most famous for bed bug treatments as you come from the hotel yes, industry yeah. right so how yeah, look, what do I need to know about bed bug treatments <laughs> Uh, so bed bug treatments, there's only one treatment you should do is heat uh, that you can give a guarantee. Um, um, once we have tried all chemicals, we're still using them sometimes if there's no other option or whatever, and it's fine. But I prefer the non-toxic solutions. We we tried the steam, we tried the freezing, and we're still doing it some, sometimes as a combination. But yeah. when you put the heater in the room, uh, and that's how I started, uh, 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 heat up to 55 degrees uh, and get the temperature up in every corner, you, you sorted the problem. Uh, and there's mm -hmm. lots of other little tricks and things involved too. So uh, mm -hmm. going from from uh, doing just having bed bugs in a hotel, <laughs> having unhappy guests, I had to find a solution. And in New Zealand was nothing non-toxic. Everything was toxic. So I started looking around. Uh, and we're now building our own heaters. We're also building our own equipment which supports the heat treatments. And uh, we even do container treatments for Bora. I'm not sure where, but we have just been certified in France as the only company which can do Bora woodworm treatments legally oh, wow. in, in France. Cool. So it's been certified. Uh, uh, I went over there last in January and run around uh, in, in freezing conditions in January in Bordeaux. And we treated historical buildings uh, uh, for wood borer. And we proven that we got the center temperature to kill the borer. Um, that is one thing. It's not just bed bugs anymore. But uh, when you look at bed bugs, cool. we just did another hotel again. Uh, we have complexes of 400, 500 apartments uh, right in Auckland, all over the place. Uh, we're doing Australia. We have set up big companies uh, over the last few years uh, with uh, our heaters and our technology. Yeah. Uh, and we're now developing them ourselves. So we're building them ourselves. Uh, yeah, you and, said. Yeah, we, we're doing, and the we're funny thing well. is... Yeah. Uh, just to sum up, we had an earlier discussion uh, right before we started recording and you said that, um, you know, yeah. COVID is, is obviously a big topic that everybody's talking about and, and that the mm. effects yeah. of COVID were first, you know, you, first you were very critical, but um, now it seems to be not having a, a real effect on, on your business in, in terms of reducing it or anything. Um, no, rather positive. no, I think you... Yeah, look, I think you have to be innovative. I mean, we always have been uh, selling uh, misters and ULV foggers and sanitizing units. So even yeah. my French guys uh, uh, have uh, didn't stop thinking. We didn't stop thinking. So what can we do? And we developed another product, which I'm maybe happy to share to do in, 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 in four weeks. And we got a laboratory certified to kill coronavirus for masks and uh, equipment for theaters, for hospitals. So that product has been launched in the last three weeks. And uh, uh, um, we have done that before with knife sanitizers under the BSC brand. And, and we said, look, we need to have something else. So we also have the test, the certification. So we mm -hmm. wow, um, impressive. spend all the time and hard money to get proof, uh, a proof. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to have it in these days. So yeah. now, now it's getting out there and promoting this product. So we're happy to, to advise. So from mm -hmm. Looking just bed bugs, which is sanitizing too, uh, um, you, you have to mm. go then to something else. And that's what yep. maybe supported us during Corona as well. So yeah. Pests and viruses yeah. are sometimes, uh, you know, it's sometimes it's very, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very comparable curious. strategy uh, to approach them. But anyways, uh, mm. I, I think one of the very important topics that you have to, um, uh, you can tell the world about is uh, how you digitize mm. 
sanctuaries, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. I am, I've seen a big commercial with yourself and Vodafone and uh, on narrowband IoT in the yeah. sanctuary. So what is all that about? I think there's definitely more to come. Uh, we're working quite quite hard on it because we have been asked by by Vodafone to to help them to launch NBIT last year uh, with a product uh, uh, which we had in place already. So we're working a very product, close. Right? We were a, a trap product, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And for us, it was uh, possibly a good idea to actually combine uh, technology with that. And that's what's sort of the future, uh, not just internal in. in warehouses and businesses all over the world but it's also in the sanctuary side and if you haven't got many volunteers to help you to get these unreachable trap lines uh, mm. which are in the forest in the bush uh, where shepherds <laughs> sitting in the tree and Norwegian reds in the, in the pond you have to come up with some ideas yeah. so there's not just live caging we're talking to German companies live cages are building we, we're bringing people together so we are, we are a hub so we're trying to to share our knowledge, but we're also trying to bring things together. So what's the future? Uh, sensors, uh, drones, and you name it. Yeah, automated traps and automated automated fences. And, yeah, and I think automated traps is definitely the future. And it's not just electric oh. shock thing. It's, it's possibly mm -hmm. much more. Uh, and then to be smart, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, very smart. Uh, so uh, a trap sensor or whatever you call it or a station sensor or whatever you call these things. This can't be just Wi-Fi in these days. And I think you guys are already working on this, working on this tool. And it was the beginning possibly and still good in some areas. Don't get me wrong. They don't age as long as you got the facility for it. But when you want to be flexible and want to move things, you want to be just independent. And I think we had this discussion last year in Germany uh, where, where you have to have something very unique which you can take and plug and play somewhere else with Absolutely. no hesitation. And, yeah, and, and the savings are possibly in, in less labor cost you save on one side, but on the other side, you need some more qualified people. So training on these things is very important too. And, and you become a technician of excellence because you become a technician of technology. Uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, so this, this is all part of this whole journey I think we have gone through. And look, I'm not from tourism uh, from uh, pest control I'm from tourism in all my career but knowing what they need was good for me to start my business because I could talk gotcha. to them their yep. way and explain and Bitbugs yep. brought me to that where I am today so and, uh, and I'm all over the place for functions and explaining things different and when you come down to catching the last red possibly in New Zealand which we want to do by 2050 we have to have <laughs> a solution for that last one so there's still some time to go and I think we have to be patient too and you can't just invent everything new or every time but it takes yeah. stages and you have to have the people for it so if you don't have the labor and the people would just think the same way and the passion so I Absolutely. think my my biggest milestone now is to get the apprentice uh, to the next level and then let them decide to they know more than how Facebook and all these network things work than you and me so mm. we need to listen to the young generation and if you see that mm. uh, if we can help them support them to get ideas up and innovative and I think innovations and supporting mentoring those people is maybe my number one rule now and that comes just by itself I think uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah pretty then, cool uh, statement yeah Absolutely. Yeah, agree. and I think I think I think that's what we're not doing enough, uh, giving young people yeah. the opportunity to do yeah. so. Uh, 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 we, this is the same here. That's why in New Zealand we haven't got enough volunteers because they all think, oh, it's boring. But if you bring the technology in place where someone can fly a drone and, and measure trees <laughs> or uh, uh, infrared uh, mm -hmm. yeah, things where you can spot animals or where you do these things or we have a sensor on your phone and you sit in your classroom yeah, yeah. and say, hey, I got the biggest red today or uh, uh, yeah, and things <laughs> like this. And they make yeah, data. Great. So data, yeah, I think data is so important. And uh, look, it gets, come on, we can talk the whole day here. So I yeah, think, yeah, no, that's uh, true. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, uh, for, for me, it's, you know, for me, it's, it's just a pleasure talking to you because uh, since the day one, I, I got to know you, uh, I, I understand Hyper Hyper, you have a lot of energy and I don't know where yeah. you take it from. Yeah. Uh, I know you like to drink a wine or two, uh, but uh, that, that couldn't yeah. be the, the main source of energy. But uh, for it's me, it's very dry uh, here at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it's just, you know, I think we can all learn from you because you are one of the most, most Brazilian entrepreneurs that I know. Okay, what's I coming? Can, I can change that. Hold on. Let's have to go. Look, we we are we are, we might be far far away, but we do have we do a little bit of advertising sometimes. So this here is German beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and there's a nice story to share because I actually sent an email to Krombacher in Germany, guys. Listen to this. This is a two second story, and this is true. <laughs> Said I have to drink a German beer out of a different glass. <clears throat> 
And I got an email back and say, what is your address? And two weeks later, we got two boxes of premium Kronbacher glasses. Are you kidding? Sent to New Zealand, buy Kronbacher with a thing, enjoy your beer. Um, so now it's, my, <laughs> now it's my job Now it's my job to advertise for Kronbacher <laughs> and say, hey, cool guys, guys. <laughs> what a great we drink it brand all the time. story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's this a is good exactly the stories story. we also have in pest control. I, I've uh, heard many, many stories of yeah. people uh, mm -hmm. asking for various funny new brand uh, products in the world and getting them for free because they wrote a funny email. So, yeah, cool. So German that, represents what what it's all is about. So at the end of the day, <laughs> look, there's always a German in me. <laughs> well, hey, Heiko, so, thanks so much. Yeah, it's been yeah. a, been a great uh, okay. few minutes talking to you, and I think we're definitely going to revisit this one in the next few six, look, seven months, whatever. So uh, thank you so you're much. You're always welcome. Insights. Give us a call. Give us a call. Send us an email. Let's go fishing. <laughs> cool. Thank you.